Slightly lower humidity today. Now it will be warm. A lot of people have been asking me, when's our next cold cool down? When's it going to get cold again? And it's not really going to happen, at least for a while. So kind of get used to this sort of warm feel. Our rain chance stays very slim, but our next big cold front could be coming maybe Monday a week from this Monday coming up. So a while from now, or maybe even on Halloween itself. Models not in perfect agreement yet, but it's looking like not this week, but the beginning of next week that we might get our next front. Right now we're looking good in New Orleans. Our temperatures in the 60s. You may have felt may have felt the humidity go down a bit, but it will be coming back up. Our temperatures right now on the south shore of the lake around 72, and we've seen a few more especially high clouds filtering in from some moisture way off to the southwest. Tonight, though, pretty comfortable sort of night. Temperatures north of the lake getting to near 59 or 60. And if you're south of the lake, temperatures in the middle 60s. Tomorrow, high temperatures once again around 85. Today, we hit 86 in a few spots with more clouds on the way tomorrow. Here is our Food Truck Fest forecast. And again, looks pretty good out there at Kenner Lake Town. Clouds mixed with maybe some breaks of sun or maybe that kind of hazy look from those high clouds and temperatures in the 80s. Overall, really pleasant day for that festival and other festivals happening. Now, let me show you. This is by tomorrow. You can see some clouds waking up to maybe even mostly cloudy skies. This is through the day. I think we'll have peaks of sun here and there and blue sky, but clearly more clouds than what we've seen, especially maybe over the past several days earlier this week, especially. This is tomorrow 4 p.m. We're hitting those highs right in there low 80s and then this is by 9 p.m. We're getting back into the lower 70s. Not a lot of rain stirred up really tomorrow or for a while. This is our upper pattern and you can see this high pressure area building over the southeast. That's just going to keep us warm as well as mainly dry. And let me show you our seven day rain forecast where that high is. We're just not looking for rain, a huge blank spot in the map for forecast rain amounts. So going out the next seven days, parts of Texas, Oklahoma into the Midwest may get some rain, but the Southeast, including us, not really looking like we will. Now I want to jump ahead though, because everyone uh, with crew of boo tonight and then of course next weekend, a big weekend and then of course Halloween Tuesday. Um, the next Tuesday, uh, we will be looking for possibly our next front. This is our GFS model showing Monday. I've paused it here Monday uh, with showers with our next front moving in. It has some rain early in the day on Tuesday, and then it actually does have cooler weather by Tuesday night. Now it's really too far out to make it that specific at this point. The European model has its front moving in on Monday already cool by Tuesday, so we will see. But it looks like approaching Halloween, we will at least have a chance to cool down. So if you have your outfit planned, your costume planned, we still don't quite know whether it'll be on the warmer side or if we can get that front in, will we be feeling the first effects of a pretty big cool down. In the tropics, we have a couple of things happening. We do have Tammy and we have another little spot highlighted now from the National Hurricane Center, only with a low chance of development in the extreme Southwest Caribbean Sea. This is part of some low pressure in this general area around Central America right now. This is moving almost straight into Central America. Not a high chance for develop, development, but it is a low pressure area there. And then our other storm, of course, is Tammy, a category one storm scraping by some of those northern Caribbean islands with some rain and wind this weekend. And then it will be gradually weakening as it moves out over the Atlantic Ocean to the north. Our seven day forecast shows nothing but 80s. Wish I could get some 70s or maybe even some 60s in there for highs, especially if you've been looking forward to some real fall weather. At least we have had some this year and in fact several days of pleasant sort of weather. But now we're back to the 80s. This is well above average Our average right now 79 for the high and instead we're looking for middle 80s the next several days. But just outside of the seven day forecast again towards Sunday, Monday, Tuesday outside of the seven days you see, we may be talking about our next big fall cold front. So certainly we'll keep you updated on that.